if you are looking for a workout that's going to give you that summer body, toned muscles and six pack, then I'm sorry guys, but this video is not for you. I have created this 10 minute chair workout for those who are suffering with severe obesity and low mobility. And guys, if you're new to my channel and you're interested in improving your health and your well-being, then welcome. <laughs> and if you haven't already, then hit that subscribe button, tick the notification bell so that you will be the first to know when I upload a new video. Hey guys and welcome to Live Well with Tia and the purpose of this channel is to inspire, motivate and coach you into a healthier lifestyle. My first ever client is my inspiration behind this video and this workout that I'm going to be showing you today. He was 52 stone. So I knew right from the beginning that he was going to be the biggest challenge I had ever faced in my career. But what I can tell you is that it was also the most inspirational client that I've ever trained that gave me so much purpose into my fitness career. So I'm here to tell you today that if you are that person sitting at home watching this video in the same circumstance where you have no motivation to make that difference in your life, please, 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 take what I'm saying to you seriously. Your life has a value. Your life has purpose. You may have made some lifestyle choices that have led to you being in this situation, but every single thing happens for a reason. And your obstacles, your battles can become somebody else's victory if you make that decision today to walk with me on this journey to becoming a healthier version of yourself. Now, am I saying this journey is going to be easy? Nope, <laughs> it's far from easy. I have seen not just that client, but many of my clients literally give me blood, sweat and tears. It really is a difficult journey. It's finding motivation from a place that you don't have it. It's finding energy from a body that has no energy to even get up in the mornings. It's finding that emotional strength when you feel like there's no purpose to even make a change in your life. And it's finding a goal that you haven't even set for yourself. So that's why I'm here to help you set those goals. I am here today to tell you that you were born with a purpose. You might think, what can I do to make a difference in somebody's life? Let me tell you something. Your journey, your progress, your decision to make a change today and sharing that with somebody else will make a difference in somebody's life. And I also want to encourage you to speak to somebody, a friend or a relative, and ask somebody if they will help keep you accountable for the journey that you're about to embark on. This is just video number one of the videos that's going to come in the next couple of weeks. And I am going to take you as far as I can on this journey. And even if through these videos, you feel like it's not enough, okay? I am going to put a link in the description box below of my new website that I am literally launching this week. On my website, I'm gonna be uploading lots of healthy, low calorie recipes that I might not even create videos for for YouTube. So please do make sure you check them out. And I'll be uploading all of the workouts that we do as well as some extra workout tips for you to do at home. But the most important part of my website is the contact us page. Because if you have any questions, if you need any guidance, if you need any support, please, please, please use that contact us section. Send me a message and I promise you I will contact you back and I will give you as much support as you need. Okay. And it's not because I'm the perfect personal trainer. It's not because the advice I give is the best advice out there. It's because my main goal is to inspire motivate and coach every single one of my clients, and that's including you now, to be the best version of yourself. I promise you that over time, when we take those small steps consistently daily, there is a physical, emotional reward at the end of it. And you can do it. We can do this, and we shall do it together. 
Okay, guys, so I had to change my chair because I was sliding all over the place. Okay, but as mentioned, we are doing a 10 minute workout just to get you moving slightly, lift up your energy levels, and we are not calling this a beginner's workout, we are calling this day one to progression, okay? So in between each exercise, you are gonna get a respite period, and in that period, I'll be showing you the next exercise. If you need to limit the mobility of the exercise, then please do so. I want you to push yourself, but I don't want you to hurt yourself. So the first exercise that we're gonna be doing is you're gonna take your arms like this, and you're gonna bring those elbows in and squeeze back, just like that, okay? Let's go. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, perfect. Nice deep breath, squeeze those shoulder blades back. Squeeze, just warming up. And then we're gonna take the arms up and down, up and down, just warming up the upper body, okay? If for any reason your shoulders are screaming at you to stop, then please just limit the mobility or just keep it to these ones, okay? Only take the arms up if your shoulders will allow you to do so. Okay, you take your rest right here and I'm gonna show you the next exercise. The next exercise, we are gonna be lifting up like this, lifting up our feet. If your hips, the mobility in your hips is tightly slight or painful, then please only lift up that foot slightly. But if you can, lift up those knees as high as you can, keeping that back nice and straight. Are we ready? Let's go, join me. If you need to hold on to the chair, you can hold on to the chair. Remember those breathing techniques we talked about. Inhale, exhale. Nice deep breaths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Keep that back nice and straight, shoulders back and relaxed. And we're just lifting up those feet. Remember, if you need to take those feet a little bit lower and just lift them slightly off the floor, that's absolutely fine, okay? This is your workout, designed for your body, for your level, okay? Nice deep breaths. Lift up those knees. Well done, guys. Five more seconds. Let's go. Nice deep breaths. Well done. Okay, next exercise. So this is your rest by period. You rest whilst I show you the next exercise. I want you to just lift and tilt those hips forward, a bit like a hinge. Those arms go forward to your side and you are gonna lift those elbows back and back down, okay? Just like this. I don't want no bingo chicken wings like this. Just like this, let's go. Lift, squeeze. These are called a bent over row, okay? Nice and relaxed. Stretch those arms out, squeeze those elbows back. Just like that. Well done, guys. Nice deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Perfect. You're doing so great already, I just know it. Well done. Keep that belly button pulled in by engaging that core. Last 10 seconds. How do you engage your core? By sucking in your belly button towards your spine throughout the entire workout. Okay, this is your rest bite period. And for me to demonstrate the next exercise to you, what I want you to do is you can either put your hands onto your knees and lift those heels, just like that. Or you can place your elbows to give it more of a weight and lift, just like this. Nice deep breaths, five seconds of breast height left. And you are going to join me in three, two, one. Let's go. Lift, lift. Remember to put all of your body weight onto those knees, okay? We're using body weight to work our calf muscles. As well as working our calf, we are also going to work the heart, a little bit of cardiovascular work there in here. And nice deep breaths. Come on, 15 seconds, guys. That's all you've got left of this exercise. You've got this. Nice deep breaths. Well done. Perfect. Okay, we are going to bring in our hips now. A lot of people suffer from their hip joints. So, a modified version. So, this is your rest by here. So, watch me. Take that foot out just like that. Okay, if you need to hold on, you can. If your hips will allow you to, bring them together just like this. Both feet out, feet in. Just like that. Hold on to the chair if you need to. Nice deep breaths. Let's go. Join me. Breathe in. If you can, only do the one leg at a time. That's fine. Keep those hips facing forward, chest facing forward, adjust, opening up and closing our hips. 
If you're doing it for both, then let's do it. Just like this. Well done. How much left? 15 seconds, guys. You're doing great. Well done. Again, if you're only doing the one foot, let me do that with you for the final few seconds. And like I said, we're in this together. Well done. Okay, this is your period to rest whilst I demonstrate again the next exercise. What we are going to do for the next one, we're going to do shoulder presses up, up and down. If you want to take it to the next level, lift the knee up at the same time, just like that. Like I said, I'm using water bottles, you can use a tin of beans or whisk. But if lifting the foot is too much, then just the arms. And also, join me from here, let's go. But also, if those shoulders are screaming at you to stop, then just bring those arms down and let's just lift those knees. Okay? But if you're able to today and you want to push yourself to the next level, let's go. Let's do it together. We're lifting those knees and we're lifting those arms just like this. Well done, guys. You're doing a great job. How long have we got left? 10 seconds. You've got 10 more seconds. Come on. For five, four, three, two, one. Well done, guys. This is your best fight period. I'm going to show you the next exercise. So we're going to stand up and sit down into our chair, which is like a squat. However, with a chair, we're being assisted, okay? So we're just going to stand up, place all the weight into our heels, and sit back down. If this is too much for you, please come back to lift the nose knees. Let's go. Join me. Deep breath in. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. You can go at your pace. So if you need to catch your breath a little bit and then come back up, that's absolutely fine, okay? There's no rules to this. Like I said, this workout is designed for your body, for your level. Let's go. Remember to place the weight into the back of the heels, not your toes. Nice deep breaths. If you are sitting down and just doing the knee lift, then keep going. Come on, a few more seconds left. You got this. Well done. Good job. Okay. The next exercise we are going to do is a knee lift with a leg in extension. Are you ready? So you catch your breath now in your rest bike period whilst I show you, just like this. Lift up, extend. Lift up, extend. Lift up, extend. Are you ready to join me? Let's go. Up and out. Up and out. Well done. Remember to keep that belly button engaged. How do we do that again? By sucking in your belly button towards your spine. Well done. Remember, if your knees and your hips are saying, ah, stop, this is too painful, then we just do a slight lift, slight extension, slight lift, slight extension. But if you can, let's go, come on. Full force, up and out, up and out, up and out, well done, come on. Five seconds left, let's go, three, Two, one, well done. You get your respite period in whilst I show you the next exercise. So, you are gonna be using your weights. And what I want you to do is come down and up, down and up. So you're crunching and reaching up, crunching, reaching up. With a little tap, if you want to, you don't have to do this tap. Are you ready to join me? Let's go. Crunch, lift, crunch, lift well done guys you're doing a great job we're now engaging our core stretching out our oblique muscles lifting up with a slight tap just because i like to bring in more movements than one <laughs> but you don't have to bring the tap if you don't want to you can just pour and reach and if you're like me i like to just you know give myself that little bit extra of a push come on guys few more seconds well done perfect so you are going to take your rest bike whilst i show you the next exercise so you are going to lean back into your chair and lift up what that's doing is you're activating your core and pulling yourself up using your core muscles a few more seconds of me demonstrating a new resting and then you're going to join me are you ready let's go breathe in exhale Breathe in, exhale. If this is too much pressure for your back, hold on to that chair. Use the chair to assist you, okay? This is why it's called a chair workout, so you don't have to do this alone. 
you're being assisted through the whole workout. Remember, back stays nice and straight, but your core, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Come on, we've got a few more seconds. Really use that core now, guys. Final few seconds, three, two, one. Well done. I'm gonna give you one more exercise, guys, and that is it for today. Are you ready? So, I want you to lift up, extend, punch. Are you ready? Lift up, extend, punch. Let's do it together and we're gonna alternate. Ready? Let's go. Lift, extend, punch. 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 Come on, one, extend, punch. Two, extend, punch. One more, punch. And that is it. Guys, I know this was just a short 10 minutes, but I want you to accomplish your goal by taking small steps consistently daily. Now, keep watching because I wanna show you how you can stretch out those muscles and give yourself a nice cool down whilst staying seated into your chair. Are you ready? I'm gonna change the music up, grab yourself some water and let's start cooling down. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some quick brief stretches that you can do after you've done this workout. Now I encourage you to do this workout at least two, three times a week um, or until I upload my next video. <laughs> Um, so yes, so we are going to start off by sitting nice and tall and you're going to take a deep breath in. Hold it, hold it, hold it and exhale. Breathe in. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Exhale for one, two, three, four. One more time. Breathe in. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, exhale. Okay, now sit in deep into your chair so that you're nice and comfortable. Take a deep breath in and extend that arm over. You can place your elbow on your thigh so that you're giving yourself that little bit of support. Take a deep breath in, hold it, hold it, hold it, exhale and change. Take a deep breath in and hold it. Hold it, hold it, and exhale for one, two, three, four. Well done. Now bring the elbows like this, and I want you to just twist. If you can, only if you can, grab the back of your chair and twist back and back to center. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way around. Grab the chair if you can, only if you can, and back to center. Take a deep breath in, exhale and drop to the side and back to center. Inhale, exhale and drop to the side and back to the center. Now place your hands down to your side, take a deep breath in, exhale and slowly drop that chin into your chest, nice and slowly, keeping those shoulders nice and relaxed and inhale back to center. Take a deep breath in and exhale all the way to your right, holding that stretch there. Take a deep breath in, exhale and slowly, slowly drop that chin to your chest. As I mentioned all the time, if you have a really limited mobility, I know the stretch will be really sore and painful. Really try your best to just stay with me here. Take a deep breath in, exhale all the way to your left. Deep breath in, exhale and drop that chin to your shoulder. Well done. And back up to center. Deep breath in and drop the right ear to your right shoulder. Try not to lift that shoulder up. Keep it nice and relaxed. Take a deep breath in, Exhale and slowly drop that chin into your chest. Nice and slowly, guys. We don't want any injuries. We don't want any muscles pulled. Take it nice and slow. Take a deep breath in and come back to center. Deep breath in. Exhale. Drop 
the left ear to the left shoulder. Try and keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. Deep breath in. Exhale and drop that shoulder. So that chest into your chest, sorry. And back to center. Now, I'd like you to just take that arm across your chest, keeping your shoulders facing forward, your hips facing forward, and just pull that arm in, okay? Really pull it across. Try not to let your body follow. Try and keep those shoulders facing forward, back nice and straight, and you're just pulling that shoulder across your chest. Really make the most of that stretch in your shoulder. If you struggle with your joints, this will feel so nice on your shoulders, even though it might feel a little bit painful. And relax. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and pull. Same thing again. Shoulders facing forward, chest facing forward, hips facing forward. We're just pulling that arm across, opening up that shoulder. Good job, guys. Now take a deep breath in. Place your right hand in between your shoulder blade. Using your left hand, pull that elbow back. We want to stretch out the back of those arms, your tricep muscles. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Send in the oxygen back to those muscles and relax. And we're going to change sides, placing that left hand in between your shoulder blades and your right hand is going to pull that elbow back. If you notice that arm is right next to my head, it's not out here. And take a deep breath in and exhale. Perfect. Now I want you to interlock your fingers and just stretch those arms out. Take a deep breath in, exhale up. In this position, let's make some circles, some small circles with the upper body, keeping those hips square, facing forward, just some small circles to your left. And let's change sides. Lift and around, nice deep breaths, keeping that torso engaged still. We don't wanna relax those muscles just yet. Well done, deep breath in and exhale. Okay, now I want you to lift your left shoulder as high as it can. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Feel that tension and relax. Other side, lift, hold it, hold it, hold it and relax. Now together, lift and squeeze and relax. <sighs> Inhale, lift and squeeze and relax. What we're doing is we're grabbing that tension and we're releasing it. And again. Okay, now I want you to arch your back like as if you're hugging a tree or like an angry cat, you know, when they lift up and arch their back. And then exhale and reach back and open up your chest. And again, deep breath in. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale, amazing, well done. Now we're gonna kind of work our way down to our lower body. What I want you to do is sit more towards the edge of your seat, make sure your seat is secure, okay? And then I want you to just lift your left leg forward, keeping it nice and straight, and those toes I wanna to be facing up to the ceiling. And then keep staying in a nice, tall, long position. Take a deep breath in, and you're gonna lean forward like a hinge. As you lean forward, you are gonna feel that stretch in the back of your hamstring, which is exactly what you want. And it might, it might even go down to your calf, depending on how tight your muscles are. Now, in experience, with a lot of my clients who are severely overweight or suffering from obesity, there's a lot of circulation problems in the legs. If that's the case with you, what I want you to do right now is to just follow my toes. Your toes go up, and then they point forward. Toes go up and then they point forward. If you do that several times before you go to bed, you'll avoid some of those horrible leg cramps when you're asleep. Now come back up, take the opposite leg out. Toes face into the ceiling, deep breath in, hinge over and enjoy that stretch. It even feels good for me, that stretch on the back of the hamstring going down to my calf. And remember guys, if you do suffer from those leg cramps and circulation problems in your legs, lift those toes up to the ceiling and then point them away, flex them out. Toes go up to the ceiling and then you're going to point them away, up to the ceiling and away. Again, do that several times before you go to bed. 
Now, only if you have the mobility to do so, take your left foot and place it onto your right knee. Now, for some of you, this might be enough and you'll be feeling that stretch in your hip and those knees already. If that's not the case and you feel like you can push yourself a little bit further, take a deep breath in and lean forward. Really embrace that stretch, it feels so good. And back, we're just gonna change sides. Bring that foot onto the knee, deep breath in and lean forward. Well done. Okay, for those of you who need to do this stretch sitting down, I'm gonna show you it sitting down and standing up. Just come to the edge of your chair, placing the weight onto the opposite side. Grab your one foot and just bring it down, just like this. This will allow you to stretch the front of your thighs, which is your quadricep muscles, the front of your quads. This is if you need to do it sitting down and then change sides. I'm gonna show you in a second how you can do it standing up because for some people, this might be a little bit daunting to do this on the chair. If that is the case, I'll show you another version. Okay, if you can stand up and do this standing up, just stand on the back of your chair and just lift up that leg. And the plan is to bring your knees together and push those hips forward and you'll feel that stretch in the front of your thighs. Oh, I love this stretch and change. Knees together, hips forward. Well done. Okay, onto our final stretches. We are gonna do a nice big rotation with our body, rotating our other body, which is also gonna move our hips, are we ready? Come forward and back, all the way around, forward, and let's take it the other way. Really loosening up, one more time. Perfect, okay, shake off those hands. Shake off the feet, rotate the ankles. Okay, sit up nice and tall and back. Sit up nice and tall and back. Deep breath in, exhale, deep breath in exhale and guys that is it we have just completed a 10 minute workout a very low impact workout with a nice stretch to end it with feel free to do this at least two or three times a week as i mentioned i will be uploading more exercises but you can just incorporate them on different days um, or however you feel free to do so <laughs> um and yes that was it i just want to say a huge well done like how do you feel let me know in the comment box below if you did this workout, whether this is the first time you've done a workout in a very long time, whether this is just a new workout that you're adding to your routine. Let me know how this has encouraged you, motivated you, or if you have found this difficult and why. If you feel comfortable enough to share why this might have been difficult for you, then like I said, leave your comment below, or you can contact me directly through my website as mentioned previously in this video, um, because it really does help me to serve you better. But until we see each other next, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay blessed. Stressing, I better count my blessings. Life could be.